We need to decide if we're going to, what part we're going to assemble in here. And I think we need to assemble actually this part. Because I actually want to put glue in here. Okay, that goes a little straight. Glue on here. Yes. Keep calling it a gasket, but let's just call it a gasket. Yeah, let's call it a gasket. Yeah. Um, so I actually want to put a little glue, a little silicone around there. Actually, I'm thinking about using this stuff. Oh, isn't that what it is? Then? Yeah, I mean, all that purpose? says all-purpose cement yeah. for PVC, CP, and ABS. ABS, I think, is what this is. Okay. Oh. But, you know, then again, I don't really know anything about it at all, so that doesn't mean it is. So, in other words, it means nothing. Does this say ABS? So, it's rubber. We're going to just try it. So, these things, I hate. You're probably going to need some kind of tool to get this off of here. Okay, so we have this uh, uh, rubber cement, all-purpose rubber cement, and I have this all-purpose rubber cement uh, opener. <laughs> Good luck trying to open this thing without it. That was easy. Yep. Okay, now these have this little applicator in there. Yikes. I'm going to wipe some of that off because it's been sitting in there absorbing for a long time. Okay, and then we just want to wipe this in here. Nice little so white. Want to get those edges. Normally, we wouldn't care about the edges, but for what we're doing, we care. Put it over there on the newspaper. And then put it in here. So let's sit for a second. We'll let, we'll let uh, yeah, we'll let this one sit for a bit. Hopefully, that glue will work on that rubber. And if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because we're just going to put one of these things in here anyways. One of these things in there anyway so um may as well do that now too because I, I think it'll give a little bit more strength to the outside so so i'm just going to put a little bit around the edges it's probably too much now hopefully it'll get in there get in there no, 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 tighten it oh I tightened already oh are you serious yeah you can't put it push it any further no nope. it locked up is it really straight? It's not really straight. <laughs> okay. But it's, you know, it's got, uh, oh yeah, it's in there all the way to, to where, the, yeah, it's like perfect. Like if we were designing this thing, you want it to line up with the rubber, with the thing, everything inside looks perfect now, except for the fact that it's slightly, slightly at an angle. That's but okay. we'll just say we designed it that way because we want the, the, the holes to come in at a slight angle. So when we put it on out there, we want this to slightly go this way. So that's all on purpose and it looks like it's solid as heck. So we got our first piece. So this, we're not really confident that this is going to work because we don't think this is going to go all the way down and push it in and hold it, which means it's at the mercy of the first thing that touches it. You know, it might actually just be fine the way it is, but, but for right now, we're going to do this thing. So I, I, now I remember the whole, you got to work quick, man, on these things. I forget, I forgot about that. So you got to put a little on the inside, a little on the outside. Get as deep back, as you can. Get as deep as I can. There it goes. Yeah. Whoa. What? Here, when I look on this side, it looks like it's... Okay, so it looks like it actually went further than I thought. Oh, maybe it's kind of a lubricant too. Sure, but still, I've been pushing that thing in there all day. But yeah, it looks like it worked really good, nice and solid. So now let's put this thing on here. <laughs> Honey, don't. That's it, so now we need to go outside, push this through, push this up, on, up inside of it tighten down and then we'll be done with that part yeah that part composting well, toilet it's a way to go composting toilet it's a little bit of work but once you do it you'll probably never go back to a, a regular toilet for this you just don't have the smell you don't have the hassle of dumping it out so the thing that people don't understand is that is that when you have a regular toilet Every time you go to the bathroom, one or two, you're using tons and tons of water. And that's why 30 gallons, if you have a 30 gallon tank or a 40 gallon tank, it doesn't take but five or six days for a couple people to completely fill that up. 
with one of these, you have a you, have, you know have a, it's a pretty small area where everything goes, but there's no water going in there, so it, it won't fill up. It just dries out. You, talk, you uh, turn it over inside there. Everything keeps drying, and we're hoping to get at least two weeks for every every time we have to dump that thing out. And we're pretty confident that that's going to work. So we've heard, but that's one of the main reasons. Um, also, the smell. You don't have the smell of a regular toilet. Chemicals. You know, with a regular toilet, you have to put tons of chemicals in it to keep it from smelling or from smelling the smell. But that doesn't mean it's gone. It just, it, the smell is still there. You're just the other smell is overpowering it. But with these, they just don't smell at all. So uh, we think they're the future, actually, of any kind of boats or uh, travel trailers, RVs. It just seems like the easiest way to do it. But. We'll, we'll let you know in about three months once we've had it in and we've been using it for a long time. But so far, we, we think it's really cool. So, no, it won't come up. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. So, uh, something that we just realized with our system here, and, you know, is uh, that if we don't get this thing in there just right the first time and get it to seal, then uh, it's going to be wobbly in there. And Oops, then what do we do? How are we gonna get this thing out of there? So, um, wish us luck, I guess. And okay. so right. let's just see. We're gonna before we glue it, we're gonna do one more test to make sure everything looks right. Let's get everything out of the way for us. So it's gonna happen quick. Okay, this goes in the hole. You know what we should do, actually. Make sure you have it at the right angle, like. That thing. Well, that this is no way. This way, a little bit. That oh, way. Oh, you want it to be actually whatever way it goes. Is All right. Not really going to be that big. There's too many important other factors <laughs> cool. for that to be one of the factors. Oh, okay. That, okay. So we're going to do this now, and I do want to get a video of it, but it looks like we need both hands. So <laughs> we're going to come back after it works or it doesn't work. So we'll see it. Okay, so it does move, you know, a little bit, but as soon as we get the silicone in, but it is pretty solid. And then we're going to put silicone around here and silicone around the bottom, and that's it. We'll be done. 20. Okay, so we need to cut this silicone off. Um, just going to use these little schnips. Ah, that worked good. Okay, so what you want to do is just put a nice little bead all the way around. I want to make sure it's as clean as possible. Obviously, you know, it's dirty out here. You're not we're gonna get it super clean. But, so, you want to put a little bead all the way around it. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything, but. I got a little silicone around the edge. Something I do is I'll spit on my finger and get it really wet, and then just kind of push it in. That way it doesn't stick to your finger. And I, I think it kind of pushes it in also. Gets a little bit better seal. Okay, so we've got this in, we've got it nice and solid. I got some silicone, that's drying, but uh, we're just going to stick this on and hope it fits. Okay, there it fits. There's the hose. Looks like it's working good. Okay, we'll silicone the bottom of this right now. Okay. All right. All right that's all sealed. Just got to do the inside now. Okay, so I don't know, I think you can see it. I pulled it away a little bit because I don't want to really seal, you know, the outside, you know, here. I don't really even want to see the silicone. So I'm just going to try to push it into the, in between the wood and the rubber and then push it together. And, you know, hopefully that'll kind of glue it and seal it at the same time. What you don't want it to happen is for it to pop out because it's not easy to get back in there. Oh, this stuff stinks. Okay, let's push it up against. All right, so I don't think I could have done a better job than that. Just like a little tiny bit of sealant's com coming out of the edges. Maybe a little bit more. So you can see there's a little bit of sealant coming out the edge there. And just wipe off this excess with a wet rag here. Just get off as much as you can. It should be pretty good.